Well, yesterday we saw the first people coming back to the Isle of Man who had to go into isolation. I was referring to it as self-isolation. Other people are saying it's nothing like that because obviously people have to go through this process if they want to return to the Isle of Man. So I think it was like 29 people were on these coaches. And we're joined now by Alan Bell, who uh, we go back a long way from the Global Boat Challenge days, Alan. I mean, that story was one thing. This must be something else. I mean, I know you come from India and it's been quite a journey, hasn't it, just to get this far? Uh, yes, yeah. Well, I mean, there's quite a few people been travelling from all over, but uh, um, I was in Goa in India, um, and uh, they, they um, announced a one-day sh- um, sort of self-isolation uh, that was on a Sunday some time ago. I can't remember the exact date, and uh, that was immediately followed by a fortnight um, so, uh, sort of total shutdown. And at that time, the uh, you weren't allowed to leave the state. All flights were cancelled. And basically, from that day on, we were in total shutdown. Um, it was some weeks later that the Isle of Man um, sort of shut their, their borders. Um, but in fact, at the time that they shut the borders in India, we were still being advised by the FCO uh, not to travel and to remain where we were. So it all came, we were really following uh, instructions given by the FCO and suddenly found ourselves unable to get, get home at all. Well, anyway, the lockdown was complete. You know, the, the drawbridge went up here in the Isle of Man, but obviously things have been looked at and you, you've made it. What sort of journey has it been from the UK getting back to the Isle of Man? Well, from when we got to the uh, bus at Haysham, it's been very smooth and very good. Um, it's really everything changed from that moment. Uh, we were picked up um, by Tours Isle of Man in, in Lancaster um, and then taken to Haysham um, where the, um, we were checked, given a medical uh, checkup uh, in the um, terminal there. Uh, we got back onto the coach, went onto the boat, we then put in um, isolated areas that were taped off um, in small groups. Um, I imagine they were the groups that we'd been, been traveling in, so there was no cross-contamination. Um, then at this end, we came off. We came, as you probably saw more of it than I did, um, police escort to the hotel. And um, we've been in, the, in our rooms ever since. Uh, except for myself um, and uh, two other people. Uh, we, we've got an hour a day we're allocated to go outside for exercise. And mine was from 12 o'clock to one o'clock, as I say, with two others, um, and Mike Dean, who I'd been traveling with, and uh, Lady Alison, I'm not sure her second name. Uh, uh, Alan, just, just go back again. One hour out of your room, when you're actually stuck in your room, are you locked in or, or what exactly? Um, we're not locked, but we're under strict instructions not to come out. And it was uh, somewhat disconcerting when I opened the door to to bring in my food, uh, because the food is left outside the door, and they knock on the door, and you go and bring it into your room. And uh, alarm went off, so uh, they've obviously got the doors alarmed and uh, monitored. So, the doors are yeah. alarmed. I mean, is that, well, that's I, pretty. I, 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 Although I'm only telling you what uh, yeah. happened in my room because I obviously have, other than the two other people which I've spoken to at a distance um, for the last hour. Um, but yes, when you open the door, an alarm goes off, and I'm speculating that 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 there is um, some form of CCTV, but I don't know that for a fact. Okay, it's been very controversial this whole thing. What's your opinion? Should you have paid? Should you be brought back? You know, what what do you think? I've no doubt that um, the cost of me getting back to the Isle of Man should be borne by myself and or the my travel insurance. So that's the first thing I'd say. The second is I'm absolutely convinced that quarantine is necessary rather than self-isolation. There is a big difference. Um, what I find where I do have a disappointment is if we like, if, if you like, we're all treated at the lowest common denominator. For example, I did put in a, in a letter some weeks ago before um, the arrangements had been worked on, and my suggestion was 
Um, in my particular case, and I recognize not everyone's the same, um, I could uh, have a vehicle uh, left for me by, uh, by a family or friend. I could get into it. I could have a tag. Uh, I could fix a tag to my leg so that the police or, or whoever could monitor my where, whereabouts. I'd be escorted directly to my premises. I would enter those, which would have been I would have at my own expense had um, provision for the full period, and um, they could be uh, random checks by phone. They could monitor my position by tag, and uh, some simple CCTV. Um, would it could could ensure that no one um, entered my building or, or came in. Now, I know that's not the same for everybody, and I recognise why it's easier to have one solution to fit all. But the difference in cost would be huge. Now, I sit here, and I've got to say, I uh, really don't want to sound as if I'm mumbling because the, the, the rooms are very nice, the food is very good, but we're allowed one delivery of personal items. Clearly, I need some warm clothes. Um, I need some new contact lenses. We're allowed one one delivery. Um, that mustn't include any food or drink. And um, so if I want a, a, a drink currently, um, a, 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 a bottle of wine will cost me £20 or a bottle of, a bottle of Budweiser will cost me £4. Now, life would be somewhat different. To, uh, cost, that's on top of the £875 I've already paid, and, and that was on top of um, the thousand, uh, sorry, the £885 that I paid for um, repatriation back to the UK. So it's all getting very expensive, and, and um, yeah, I, I suppose that some would say it will do me good to have two weeks without anything to do. <laughs> Well, the, the site was quite amazing. I mean, I think some people thought it was a bit of a reaction having a police escort. I mean, they were stopping, uh, a, a, a police car pulled up at Fort North and actually stopped, and there's only one car there, as it, as it was, you know, to, to give everyone the, the, the throughput to the hotel. It was like watching Boris Johnson going to uh, see the Queen almost. Do you think, I mean, was that all needed? And I mean, do you feel that you, there's a, well, you have said there's better ways of doing it, but do you think they're listening to you? Do you think they'll be able to give you more uh, of your personal belongings and more outside contact in any way? I don't think they should do anything to um, to in any way jeopardise the quarantine, first of all. Um, but I, I, I still feel that there is room for more imagination and flexibility to allow our lives to uh, rese re sort of retain a bit more a normal res a resemblance. As I say, um, I can't see why we can't receive post, why we can't receive packages. Um, I honestly don't quite follow that. Um, and, Will you be you getting know, medical we, uh, um, attention all the time, or is it you know every every few days? I suppose it's too early to say, but you know, will they come testing you to see how you're doing? Oh, I don't. Up to now. Um, we've been told nothing about any sort of. I don't. Th to my knowledge, we we won't be getting any medical checkups. I could be wrong, but with with other than the, the rules that apply here, I haven't heard anything. And you can, can you eat uh, as much as you want, by the way, on your menu, or is, is are you just limited? <laughs> um, it's a very good menu. That's in, that's inclusive. You can order extra. Oh. Um, and you can order soft drinks and alcoholic drinks, as I say, at, yeah. at, um, at, at four-star hotel prices. But uh, it's, it's it's ironic, really, that my three three months in India will have cost me about the same as my trip back. Well, you know, it's been controversial. I mean, people are saying that uh, it, some people are saying it should be free to bring you back. Others, obviously, saying you should, definitely should pay. Or, or a lot of people actually are worried that anyone's being allowed in. Yeah, I can I can totally understand that. Um, I've got, um, as you know, I've got family here, um, and and I've got the people close to me that, that are in a vulnerable state, and I wouldn't want anything to put them at risk. I think what possibly people um, may not understand, uh, or may be under the impression that we I've gone out at a late period of time to have a cheap holiday, um, ignoring the risk that's going on. Um, Actual, in actual fact, I suspect in Goa, where I was, statistically, I was safer from the virus than I probably am here. But with our big concern, 
was in the event uh, that the virus does get a grip in a, in a place like India, so, uh, civil and social unrest can become much more dangerous than the actual virus itself. And uh, one thing that we can be grateful for on the Isle of Man is that, uh, you know, that, that scenario is considerably less likely to occur than it is in some foreign parts. Well, you've done all sorts of things. I said uh, a global challenge back in 1999 to 2000. You went around the world uh, supporting the Isle of Man. Does this live up to the, the adventure in, in, in all the wrong ways, <laughs> should I say? <laughs> um, they're very different, aren't they? Uh, no, oh, the they're, they're 2000, that was, um, that was the adventure of a lifetime. Um, I, in actual fact, uh, joking apart though, some of the hardships that we did endure during that, that race does help um, you sort of retain a sense of humour when things are getting a bit bad um, in other travelling circumstances, you know. Uh, don't th I don't think that that experience did you, did us or did me any harm at all. And finally, is there any complaints procedure? Do you get to see a manager? Do you um, because we're talking with the, the the ministers every day on our briefing? Is there anything you'd like me to bring up to those meetings from your point of view today? Well, I I did actually speak to, on on the phone to the manageress, who's who's was very very uh, helpful, polite, but obviously very limited in what she could or couldn't uh, say that they could do for us. Um, I, I think um, whilst as, as anything that can be done that doesn't increase a, any sort of cross, any risk of cross infection, such as perhaps being a bit more flexible on the number of deliveries at the moment, we're allowed to be delivered one parcel, no bigger than an aircraft bag. Um, for the whole period of time, and that mustn't include uh, food or drink. Personally, I don't think that the food I've got here will be more than enough. Um, and can I just but, ask you, when you go out, Alan, when you were escorted, are all the staff wearing masks, and are you kind of um, in, a, in a compound area? that We saw that new fence going up. Is that where you are yeah, going out? Yeah, we were, we were in a fenced area with one security uh, person there, um, they were very pleasant. They just asked us to to keep our distancing. There was um, there was hand sanitizer, gloves, and um, tissues uh, placed uh, before we went out. Um, there were a couple of um, uh, dumbbells, exercise dumbbells, sitting out there, and uh, um, one of those aerobic uh, step type things. Um, which people could use if they want to, but once again needed to be wiped down and the, and everything kept sterile. Uh, everyone is being very very helpful and friendly, um, and it is if it if it wasn't if you like for the slightly um, the over the 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 overtone the, the, the situation in itself. Um, you know the place. It's a nice hotel. People come here to for holidays. You know, you can, I could understand people saying, "Well, what are they moaning at?" Well, really, you don't want a holiday where you just sit by yourself all day long, um, and are paying quite a lot of money to do it. You know, <laughs> uh, and you're limited on to you know what you can get access to. But all in all, I've got to say, I'm just very grateful to be back on the Isle of Man.